What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get Android 5.0's new smart lock features on your KitKat device. With Lollipop, Google's made the secure lock screen easier to use by adding trusted environments like your home Wi-Fi connection or a known Bluetooth device. When you're connected to one of these, you don't have to put in your pattern, PIN, or password to unlock your device. So it's a really cool feature that makes security even easier on the end user. But developer Arvind Cigar has a new app that will give you these same features on your KitKat device. It's called Smart Lock Screen, but it's still in its testing phase, so it's not on the Play Store just yet. As a result, you'll need to make sure that you have unknown sources enabled in your phone's settings under Security, so that you can sideload the app. But once you've done that, go ahead and grab the installer file. I have it linked out over at the full tutorial, which you can find in the description below this video. So after you grab that one, go ahead and tap the Download Complete notification to begin. Press Install on this next screen, but when it's finished, tap Done rather than Open. Next up, you'll have to change a few options and settings. So head to the Security sub-menu here, then select Screen Lock, and set this to None. Then, while you're still in the Security menu, scroll down a bit and tap Device Administrators. And here, tick the box next to Smart Lock Screen, then press Activate. Next, scroll down a bit further and select Notification Access. Again, tick the box next to Smart Lock Screen here, then press OK. With that stuff out of the way, you're ready to set up your Smart Lock features. So open Smart Lock Screen from your app drawer, then it'll ask you to set a master password. You can use this drop menu to select either a password or PIN, and this is what you'll be using to unlock your device when it's not in a trusted environment. So type in your PIN or password, then type it in again to confirm it. After that, press Continue, then you'll be taken to the app's main menu. From here, select Manage Environments, then press the plus button at the top of the screen to add a new trusted environment. Then you'll have to give this a name, so type in something like Home or Work. Then make sure to put in a hint for this environment, something that will remind you of which password or PIN to use if you set this thing up with multiples. Alright, so next, you can select any of the three main environment types. You can go with a Bluetooth connection, a Wi-Fi network, a location, or any combination of the three. When you select one though, tap the entry that shows up below it to set up the environment parameters. In this case, since I'm setting this up to where I don't need a password when I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi, I'll select my Wi-Fi network from the list. Then at the bottom here, make sure to set the password type to None, since this is a trusted environment. And with all that set up, tap the Done button at the top of the screen, then go ahead and back out a smart lock screen altogether. At this point, you're ready to test out your new lock screen. It's themed in the Android 5.0 style, and it even has actionable notifications like Lollipop. And as you can see, it recognizes that I'm on my home Wi-Fi network, so when I swipe up to unlock, it goes directly to my home screen. But if I disconnect from Wi-Fi, I'll no longer be in a trusted environment. As far as smart lock screen knows, my phone could be anywhere in anybody's hands at this point. So when I head back to my lock screen now, you see that it says Unknown Environment. When I swipe up to unlock at this point, it goes to the secure lock screen instead. So if my phone ever falls into the wrong hands, they'll have a lot more trouble trying to get it unlocked now. And at the same time, when I'm in a trusted environment, I don't have to go through the trouble of having to type in my pen every time. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.